Hi guys, good to have you all back. And in case you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, and on the weekend I'm a vintage treasure hunter. So you just joined our sort of mini series at the last episode. So if you're into vintage papers, grungy paper crafting, junk journaling, and such, Please go watch the whole series because it's a good one. It's a fantastic one. Uh, in the description box below, guys, there is the playlist where all eight episodes, because it's an eight episode, not a three one, an eight one, are available. So you can, you know, watch it or rewatch it if you want to. So, uh, and for those of you who have seen all seven of them, welcome to the end. This is the end, guys. <laughs> This is the plan for today. This is going to be the closure. So lots of decorating and, and the actual closing system. I've been thinking about it. Let me explain what the plan is for today and show you the supplies. So here's the plan for today. Assembling everything, yes, because it is a sort of four-parter at the moment. I have the two file folders completely sort of yummy, yummy. Uh, and this piece that will hold them together. That will make pockets and then the flap that is going to be the closure. So um, putting it all together and of course decorating the flap and making a closure on it. Now I've been thinking long and hard about what to do for decorating and, and the closure of course. That is the sort of tricky part. I love what's already on here and I do not want to take away a lot of attention from this. So I have decided guys to do a background stamping like a collage made from stamps yeah and then i'm going to have two sort of closure thingies here and the handle on the top now let me show you what i found to use for this i found these i'm going to call them buckles i don't know the exact word let's just call them you know this is from a belt so let's call it a sort of a buckle these are going to go here and here yeah like so. Aren't they great? Yes, I think so. So we need sort of a strappy thing. Um, and for the longest time, I, I was thinking about this because, you know, it will work. But I wanted something sort of more sturdier. So I went through my craft room and I found, actually found this. That I found in a thrift shop t a while ago. I know it's really yellow, <clears throat> but I'm going to sort of distress it, ink it. So it will be less yellow, but still a little bit yellow. So I'm going to have straps. With this one. Cool, right? Also, I'm going to make a handle on the top with this. Yeah? So this is what I'm going to use. Um, lots more hardware. Because these are silver, I really like to work with more coppery or gold or something brass. Uh, but these are silver, so I'm going to use the rest in silver as well. So I'm going to use brats, big brats and eyelets all in silver. Yeah? I do want to have sort of a focal point on here. And I found this. I found this. Yes. Uh, because of yellow. <laughs> I thought it might look cool. These are actually, I think these are sort of older. Um, probably some sort of promotional advertisement pieces. Because it came with maple leaf chewing gum. Yeah, you could, have, you could collect these. I have a couple of them. I bought them probably from a friend on, on Instagram. These are sort of licensed plates from all over the world. And uh, I have this one. I don't know how old it is. But it's going to go on here. Like, well, apparently Gunter was from Arizona. Oh, North Carolina. What was Arizona? That was the other one. Oregon. Yeah. I am so good with names. <laughs> so this. For... Um, the other stuff. Yes, I have some hole reinforcers that I want to use. Purely for decorating. Of course, I'm going to grunge it up first. In the same manner as I did with the, with the project. So, I've taken out my favorite colors to grunge with. Yes. Freight Burlap, Vintage Photo, Tea Dye and Ground Espresso. A brush. My beautiful stencils that I ha still have not cleaned yet because I'm using them every day at the moment. For stamping itself, I am, uh, you know, using uh, fallen leaves, of course. The stamp sets. I'm going to take them out, guys. Now, use any stamp set that you have. I'm, of course, using Mr. Tim Holtz. I'm going to go in order of importance. <laughs> You need eccentric. I just love eccentric. You can do this whole project that I'm doing with just eccentric, guys. Um, my second favorite is field notes. 
correspondence. Ticket booth, because, you know, that's a classic. I think I'm going to use... Well, I am going to use the inspector slash the inventor because of these two strips here. I love them. And uh, maybe some um, stamp collector. Yeah, so these are the ones that I am using. Crocodile, because need to punch holes and um, attach eyelets. Pokey tool, glue, scissors. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll use some uh, poster stamp, bits and bobs, poster stamps or labels or what have you. Maybe some Tim Holtz uh, ephemera. I don't know yet, guys. I have an idea, but you know me. That can change at any moment. But first, I'm going to start with grunging. I'm going to grunge this one up. Okay, I'm going to do the grunging on camera, guys. Why not? Why not? So I'm taking out Fred Burlap. If you put on the frayed burlap, I'm going to show you later, it looks sort of brownish, right? But if it sort of dries, it looks grayish. And that's really, really cool um, on this sort of green folder. So I am going all around sort of the, the edges everywhere. I like to be a little bit more heavy handed on all the corners. Don't forget the middle part. I'm also going to do some stamping on the mid middle part, but mainly like the longer strips. Yep. These are straight. These are rounded. I'm going to keep them as is. I'm going to show you uh, what, when I assemble this. Because on the front. This is the front. The, po the pocket is has also rounded corners. But on the back the pocket has straight corners. So I'm going to keep them as they are. Yes. So. Now for some sort of this <laughs> now normally on the whole project i only did the outside because um i knew i was going to fill in the other ones not heavy-handed because it's going to be stamping over it and i'll have it sort of everywhere but very lightly see very lightly I just want to sort of mimic it. This be, um, uh, you know, leather, crack leather. Well, that was my idea behind it. Yeah, does it remind you of crack leather? Well, maybe it reminds you of something else. Mom and the back as well. Now, some splatter stamping. That was too heavy on it, but that's okay. A little bit of splatter stamping. Now, normally I take out... No, I am going to do ground espresso. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just here and there. Okay. Yes. That's the grunging up. Now, keep in mind. Which means, I'm, I first I'm going to do this. Because this is going to be top, bottom. And then, this is going to be top, bottom. Otherwise, this would be completely upside down. So, first, this part. Yeah? Are we doing the stamping first? We're doing the stamping first. Let me take them out. I think I'm going to do the middle part first. For these, I'm going to... Um, use this strip because I love this one. I used it on the project on several occasions. And um, this one. This is from Eccentric. Then I have a longer one from Correspondence. I actually have two from Correspondence. I need to remind myself where they came from. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to do some stamping. I hope you enjoy stamping, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a chit-chat. I, I have some exciting news, guys. Well, if you are a Dutchie, I have some exciting news. I'm hoping they will stick, because if they fall off, I'll be crying. I have some exciting news if you are a Dutchie. If you're not a Dutchie, there will be some exciting news for the future. Let me explain. Um, as you well know that I love doing. It's a craft shop in the Netherlands. 
um, that I visit very regularly and I am sort of affiliated with. And I'm going to have a meet and greet. What? Yes, it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, it's fantastic, but also <laughs> ridiculous because I did not think that I was going to be a person that would do a meet and greet, right? No, well, apparently I am. It's very exciting. It's going to be in the shop. Yes, I will have details later, guys. In the Netherlands, of course, it is in Spijkenissa. It's at Duwerding. It's a fantastic uh, shop. Don't go there for me. Just go there because it's a fantastic craft shop. And I'll be there December 9th. Yes, um, on a Saturday, the 9th of December. Um, just hopefully, hopefully to meet all of you guys. Just to say hi. I'm also going to do like some projects. So demonstrating. I think that is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm hoping to meet you there. I will also be selling junk journal kits. Now, that is exciting news because, you know, you can go to a craft uh, shop and they none of them will sell vintage papers and uh, junk journal kits, right? <gasps> no! See, that, that happens all the time to me now at the moment. Um, it went sort of okay. Careful, love, careful. So yes, junk journal sort of kits, which means lots of beautiful vintage papers, um, book pages, envelopes, the works, everything you see me work with, because I have a lot of that, and uh, why not share it with you guys? So I will have these packs. Now, hopefully, hopefully, soon... Um, there's a little bit of space here. Marloes will be able to ship internationally. And maybe she will even want to have the packs um, in her web shop. That'll be fantastic, right? I think so. I'd be happy. So, yes, I'll be there December 9th. Um, from, I believe, oh, I'm going to be there all day, guys, honestly. It's uh, from uh, 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. And I am hoping, because I am going to sort of contact a lot of other Dutch creators, um, Instagram creators or YouTube creators, to join me. Like, please, come and say hi. It's a fantastic opportunity for us to all meet up. So if you are a designer, a creator, or what have you, and you want to go have a look, um, if you have the time, Saturday 9th of uh, December, uh, please come. I think it will be fantastic, right? To, just to meet up. Done. Done for this part. For this part, I'm going to start with a big one. This is from Ticket Booth. Yeah. I'm not starting in a corner, guys, because I mainly like the last stamps to go off the page. That is not smart to do, do all the sort of inking on your project. I am so hoping I won't drop anything. Okay. I am starting on the top. Am I uh, a little bit... Here. Yes. I also really love this, this bottom part. I'm going to have this sort of upside down, not upside down. Take out another piece. I don't think I'm going to have stuff upside down. I will have it sort of on its side, but not upside down. Let's have the numbers here. Yep, there we go. Now, while I'm stamping, let me explain more what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to be demoing as well. Not like I'm going to make a Gunter. No, you know, the, the stuff that is so, sort of easy, small projects that we can all do. 
Condemned. Well, that's a nice word. So I'm thinking making labels and pockets and such. Just, you know, having fun while you guys are there. And um, mainly having a lovely chit chat because, you know, me, I, I love to chit chat. That's what I like to do. Um, letter? Letter. So I'd love to know what you think. And I'd love to know if you're coming. Are you coming? Please come. <laughs> oh, maybe no, maybe none of you are coming. You're like, well, I don't know who you think you are. But I'm not coming. I have lots to do on the Saturday. <laughs> oh, I'm a little, I'm a little bit sort of anxious, guys. I am not, I am not uh, so nervous or afraid because I'd love to meet you guys. Yeah, but I'm just like maybe two of you are there, and I'm like, hi guys. <laughs> oh, it's too bad. I cannot do this sort of uh, in the states. Yeah, because I for sure think. Um, a lot of you guys will show up, but our, uh, us Dutchies are mainly sort of very down to earth people. They're like, I am not coming. <laughs> I would, I would for sure. Um, if one of the YouTubers was going to have, uh, because uh, David and uh, uh, from Elizabeth Craft Designs and Esther Glas. They uh, regularly have sort of meet and greets and, and else uh, herself, Elizabeth. <laughs> and uh, if I know they're there, I'm going just to say hi. I just like it. What else? Condemned. We already had condemned. Do we want a pointy finger somewhere? Oh, in the middle. Yeah, sure. The plate's going to be here, so I'm not going to put a fantastic... Uh, stamp there. There are going to be some small um, spots, guys, that I'm going to fill up with, well, smaller stamps. I have a couple of videos um, on this. Oh, the big five. I'm going to do the big five. The big five was the reason I bought this stamp set. I hardly ever use the big five. Still, it is one of my favorites on the stamp set. <laughs> but I never use it. You know which ones I use? The ones that I was like, why? Why do you need to have three stars? Yes, because it's fantastic. Never underestimate Mr. Tim Holtz's, you know, brain. Uh, because he, he apparently knows what he's doing for sure. Well, when it comes to stamps. I actually wanted to have something that go up, that would go off the page. I'm going to do that underneath here. A round one? Yes, roundish one. It already looks lovely. I really enjoy these sort of projects. Check room. Do we want a number three as well? We also have the big number three. Yeah, we don't want the number three. Next to the pointy finger. Yep. What else? Another ticket? Mm -hmm. Sure. London. London. And maybe, maybe you're from Belgium. Come. I, um, well, I visit Duoding almost every week. And I've, on a couple of occasions, I've seen like a group of people from Belgium. They go there all together, like once a month or something. And, um, They have sort of a shopping spree <laughs> because you know that's that is what's going to happen, guys. You're gonna have a shopping spree because everything there is fantastic. I just love everything. Um, and then they go to lunch. 
because you can have a fantastic lunch next to the shop. They go to lunch there. Do we love it? We love it. We do, we love it, we do. I want another ticket. Going to have one on its side. Yeah, sure. I'm going to do a lot of stamping um, while demoing because I just loved stamping. Corresponding order. Do we have any room for this? Put it on here now. We need to put it somewhere. I'm going to put it here. What else? Oh, some numbers. Let's do some numbers. Serial number. Here. And this says ticket. Do we want something? We want something there. Another number. Yep. Something that goes straight up ish or. <clears throat> oh, oh, this one. Place stamp here. Okay, I'm going to place stamp there. I'm going to have it here. You were going to have stuff off the page, love. Yeah. So far, everything fits. I'm going to clean up a little bit, guys, because there's a lot of stamps here. And then do a bit more. I've made a puzzle. This will save a lot on time. Yes. Filed here. Yep, six and a quarter cents. Okay. Well, I know in the Netherlands, ages ago, we had half half cents, but quarter cents. Okay. Tiny one here. Hoping this will work because they all are sort of cramped together. Almost nothing of it is going well this is going to go off this is going to go off and this is going to go off page. Yeah. Not the other ones. I am going to remove them. I know what what I what I want to have where now. You are yes you're going to have this here and this here. Why did I remove them? Because. Because of not smart. Yep. Because I need space. That's why you remove them. There we go. And I need a piece of paper here. Was it going to go here? No, it wasn't. No, I did it wrong. See, I already did it wrong. Oh, well, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Because this needed to go there. Yeah. But that didn't happen now. Need a piece of paper. Taking out a scrappy piece. Mm, it's not upside down. Yes. I had an idea and now I need to change the whole sort of puzzle. Ah, that's okay, love. There you go. Now it's amusement. Oh, amusement only. Only for muses. Amusement only. <laughs> 
this will still fit so i will have this one here we could add a little something on the bottom as well and let's do this here oh yes let's just do this here see no worries fixed it There you go. Now we need something on the top. Like what? I could do a circle. Bottom circle. I have a bigger one of this. Well, I have a bigger circle. Yeah. I just like circles at the ends of pages. I just think they look cool. I'm going to leave a little bit of room so I can manage to put another stamp in here. A small one. Like this number. Yep. Do we have some room here? We do. Yes. One more. Over here. Small one. Identification. Does that fit? I'm going to make it fit. Yes. Done. Done. Now, guys, I'm going to do the other side as well. Yes, that will take up a little bit of time. Because I'm going to go struggle with this one. They're done. It's pretty. Also, I forgot I need to do the inside. Yes, this is going to be glued down, but this is going to be the flap. Um, I distressed it. I'll probably add something where the brats are. Yeah, because now we need to do something with the brats. I'm going to do the, the easiest part first, which will be sort of the handle on the top. I'm just going to try it. I have enough on, on this sort of spool here to try something out. I do think the color is a little bit too bright. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to distress it. I've taken out tea dye and uh, ground espresso. With the tea dye, I'm just going to sort of stroke it. Oh, yeah, that works. Can you see the difference? See, it's still yellow. Yeah. But a little less bright. I'm also going to do uh, the back side. Because why not? Now, for aging it up, I was thinking just to do some splatter stamping on it. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah. Um I don't think you can see it. I need to I need to put it up close. You do see it. A little bit of sort of the splatters everywhere. I'm going to push a little bit harder on some of the yellow parts. Oh, yes. Yes, I enjoy it. And now a little bit on the edges. Especially on these edges here. <clears throat> now let me compare it to the other strip. Can you tell the difference a little bit? Yeah? It's there, faintly, but it is there. Um, I'm just going to put in brats, lovies. Yeah, let's. I, I do want to have this uh, in the middle, so I'm going to measure it, even though this is too... Uh, 15, this, this is the middle. Oh, that's actually perfect. Oh, no, but we need to do it so, like so. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you going to eyeball it? I'm going to eyeball it. Um, 
First, I'm going to put in my pokey tool. Do we want it all the way? Is this the middle? Yes. Let's see how this works, guys. I have not tried it out. But I think it's going to work. I think it is going to work. Oh, yes. Yes, it will. How many centimeters? I'm just going to do my measurements, guys. Don't. Eight and a half. So I need to have this at eight and a half. So over here. Is it this easy? Was it this easy? Was it? It is this easy. It's this easy! Oh, it's so cool! It's so cool, right? Yeah, love it. Love it. Well, that was the easy part. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, I need... I'm going to attach this like so. Yeah? Sort of small part, like so. So I'm going to cut off a couple of these pieces and distress them in the same manner, yeah? So let me quickly do this, and then let's go to the tricky part. Okay, so here's the idea. I have two longer pieces, yes. It's going to go here. And then two shorter ones to attach this. I'm hoping this will work, guys. I have a small piece. I'm going to put it through this opening thingy here. Yeah, sort of fold it over in the middle. And then I'm going to attach it here. Like so. Which means I need a hole. Is that going to work? Oh, I think it is. I think it is going to work. There's a flappy thing. I have no clue what this is. But, you know, it wrinkles. And it's fine by me. It's just fine by me. I do not want this to cover because there's going to be a strip all over it. I do not want it to cover Gunter's head, of course. So I'm going to put it a little bit towards this edge. Yeah? Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Okay. Uh, lucky for me, there are two parts that are sort of sewn together with this yellow. Whatever. Um, so I'm going to punch through the middle. Take out a brad. Oh, I'm so hoping this works. It's a long-legged brad. Oh, it's on there. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Let's do the other one as well. I need a little bit more inking here. Just, you know. I do want these to be the same length. Yes. Spooky tool. In the middle. Brad. Ouch. <laughs> well, we're halfway there. Do you like it? Was this upside down? Oh my gosh, this is upside down. <laughs> it's upside down, guys. That's okay. Well, it isn't okay, actually. We already have the hole, so here and it's here I'm sorry this is probably off camera but I'm struggling a bit it was upside down did you did you notice it yeah well what can I say I am not perfect great well now we need 
this part. But I want to have like these rings in there. Yeah, that you can sort of pull this through. I am trying to sort of think ahead because this is not attached yet and this is not attached yet. So I am going to put this on. Yes, again, with a brad. But the holes I will make later when everything is sort of uh, glued on. Because then I can sort of measure the distance. Does that make any sense? I'm hoping. I'm hoping so. I can line this up. Yeah, that's not a problem. Like so. I'm going to put it here. Taking out another brad. Lots of brads on, brads on the inside, but that's okay. See? You don't even need to make the holes, uh, but I want to. Because you can easily sort of push this through. Yeah? That will work as well. But I just want rings in them because, you know... I just want to. Just want to. I'm going to do the other one as well. Let's do it on the same height. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sorry, I need to sort of see. Is it on this line? Yeah. Yes, it'll do. I'm going to go fun, 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 fun. and put it sort of over here. That went in way easier. There we go. Yes. Oh, it was a great idea. I really like it. I really, really like it. Now, um, in order for me to measure this, I need to attach the whole thing first. But first, I want to do some decorating here with the lovely plate. Cool, right? I think I've found something lovely to decorate with. This is actually from uh, Mr. Tim Holt's uh, Ephemera Pack Palette. It's a yellow bingo card. Yeah, so I'm going to have this on here. And then I was thinking to have the plate on here, but it's yellow upon yellow. So look at my fingers. Yes, I know. I completely ruined my nails, but it is what it is. So I made sort of a, a background for the label of the, you know, file folder. I had some piece left. Well, I have lots of pieces left. There you go. And uh, I think I want to have it on there. Like so. It's going to be so cool. And also, then I can cover up the brads. Now, there are tiny, tiny holes in here. I have no clue why, but tiny holes. I have tiny, tiny brads, but even the tiniest brads will not go through. So, first I'm going to make the holes bigger. Already tried it on another plate, so it does work. i just taken out my poke tool and I am carefully twisting it. Carefully, love. We do not want to bend it. Making them bigger. Will they fit? They will. They will. Now, I don't know if these align perfectly. I'm afraid not. That does sort of bother me, but, you know, it is what it is. It does. Now first, do I need to, No, I don't really need to glue them on. I'm going to use a little bit of glue or... Yeah, glue. I'm going to use glue. Because they're going to be attached by the brad, so it doesn't really matter if the glue really does. It probably doesn't work. Probably doesn't work, but no. Let's try to center it. Doesn't need any glue because we're going to put on brats. There you go, brats. Oh yeah, now it doesn't fit. 
<laughs> Come on. How many brands do you guys think I've used in this project? In this, well, this whole project. Lots, right? I think so. I think a lot. Yeah. Another one. Oh, it does glue. <laughs> it does glue. Okay. Again, I've used silver ones. Yes. Fantastic. And then I'm going to center this here. There we go. Yes. And then I'm going to glue it on. I'm going to let it dry first, guys. Now, on the other side, also have an idea for the other side. I'm just going to flip it. I really want to add brads here, you know, just for decorating. Um, but instead of just pulling, pushing them through, I have these hole reinforcers in the sort of yellowish color. I'm just going to glue them on. Not all the way to the edge. Just over here, somewhere. In the same line, but then a little bit on top of it. Yeah, these two. Carefully punch a hole in. Now hopefully the legs won't stick out. Oh, they won't. Thank goodness. It's just for decoration, guys. <laughs> Not necessary at all. Oh, I do like it. I do like it. Yes. I'm going to do the same on the other side and glue this one on. It is the moment of truth. Let's see if it fits because I need to assemble it now. I'm going to take this off for a while. Isn't it great? Yes. Oh, I love it. And the back. It's just cute. I might add uh, uh, something here. Don't know yet, guys. Okay. I'm going to flip it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to flip it like so first. Let's see uh, if everything is in the right order. Yeah. If we flip this open. Yes. And then we flip this open also yes so everything is the right side up in the right order right right okay i'm going to have them stacked on top of each other guys because i want to sort of um, see where the height is going to be okay now the folders need to line up hopefully you can see here and on the bottom as well yeah, this big folder. And then this needs to line up, if I close it, see, with this one. And that is merely perfect. Just going to move it about a little bit. I have no illusion that I can glue this part. So I'm going to put glue here, up until this, till this part, and all the way along this line, and also on the, on the bottom part now. I'm using art glitter glue for this. Am I a frame? Well, I'm putting down glue. I, and generously. Generously. Lots of glue. And then... Not really necessary because nothing will fall out. Well, maybe it will. Here and... You won't see this, guys. It's off frame. I don't. I know, but it is what it is because it's a big, big, big project. Big, big project. Okay, let's push this in. Okay, I need to stand up for this because I only have one chance to do this. Yes, align it up here. Align it up there. Yeah. 
Oh, please, please, please work. Please work. <laughs> it will need a little bit of help. And it does not need to move. I put my fingers in. Taking out some clamps. There. There. I'm going to try to flip it over. Yes, yeah, so I can press a little bit more over here. Yeah, you can even. Oh, no, it opens up. Why does it open up? Oh, it's with the clamps. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe this will need some more glue. If it doesn't really want to glue, guys, you can put in glue tape or maybe, you know, um, hot glue, hot glue. I'm going to do the same with the other side in the same way. Oh my gosh, guys, I've been so nervous for this. I'm like, maybe it doesn't work. But I think it does, yes? Uh, big pocket here on the back. Big pocket here on the front. I might, might uh, staple this. Because there's staples here, so why not? And it's silver. So I'm going to check um, on the front, well, on the inside. Let's check on the inside. Where the staples will be. Uh, oh, that'll work. That will work. It will work. Tiny attacher, where are you? Here. Let's do it from the front. It will work. I'm going to do it as close to the edge as possible. Yep. Oh yeah, perfect. Normally, I only use tiny attacher for decoration, but this is actually sort of really useful. Where did I punch through? I'm sorry, you're going to get a little bit seasick. Uh, here and here. Oh, no worries. No worries at all. No. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so it does work. Now, we need to attach this. Guys, what did I do? Because, forgot, of course. I just put these over the brads. And a strip of uh, washi tape. And then a little bit of stamping here. Because I'm not going to glue it all the way um, to these edges. I'm going to leave a little bit of room on the top. Just a tiny bit. So you have a little bit more room. Yeah? So let's see. What does this translate to? Well, that is very crooked. <laughs> Yeah, this line. I'm going to mark it. Here and here. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just adding glue. I'm going to add glue here. Mm, yes. I think I glued this piece of paper on crooked. I don't know. It does not need to be glued all the way to the top, guys. Oh, so I am thinking. Let's see. I have this here and here. Maybe you should have glue, used glue stick. For maneuvering up it about a little bit. For some reason.
Oops. What did you do? Oh. Struggling, guys. I'm struggling. But it'll be fine. Let's have a little bit less bulk underneath. And just try to glue it on like so. We have a little bit more room to press it down. Hopefully, we can press it down. Maybe push a little bit from the other side. No, it will work, guys. But I think I need to take out my glue gun for this. Guys, it worked. Um, I just used glue. Yeah, it worked. I just had to unfold the whole thing and then press it down. Uh, what I also did was add uh, two more of the staples. <laughs> Let's add, a, just in case, add a staple. Yeah, so it's working. Um, I pulled this through and I sort of marked it where we need to put in an eyelet on both sides. So hopefully, if I flip this over, we have a little bit more room. Yes, we need to put an eyelet in here. No, please, 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 please work. <laughs> I'm going to sort of push it through in between these layers here. And I did test this out on um, a small piece, so I know it will work, but not. But it doesn't really want to, of course. <laughs> Let's see if I can first. punch sort of a hole yeah yes add an eyelet yes and I'm going to do another one I don't need to measure that one just you know underneath Am I all in frame? I'm hoping so. Adding another one. More for decoration than, you know, we really needing it. Pull it through. Yes, we measured this one. Oh, it doesn't, it do doesn't go through anything, but that's okay. Oh, it looks so cool. Looks so cool. I'm going to do the other side as well, guys. Guess what, guys? It's end result time. It's finished. I love it. I'm standing up because I need to show you. Yes, it's actually a briefcase. You can carry it. You can carry it. It's so cool. It is so cool. It's even cooler than I imagined it to be. Yes, yeah, see, I made um, the small holes. You don't you don't pull it back in anything, but that's okay. And I made more holes just in case you want to extend it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take out um, an imaginary sort of piece of paper to show you where all the pockets are. Well, that's not an imaginary piece of paper. That's a piece of paper. Okay. Well, this is the front. You have a pocket here. Big pockets here. Yeah. You can put in lots. And then on the back... Big pocket here, yeah. Oh, I might add another label, like something, a something. Oh, let's do this. Let's just, you know, add label here. Come on, glue. And these were pre-made labels, and I made in another video. I'm gonna put it over condemned. Oh, well, apparently I am. There you go. See, another label. So big pocket here, small pocket here, and then. Pocket here and behind. Oh, did I do it behind here even? Yes. So loads of pockets. Yeah. And then we open up like so. <laughs> because it is a suitcase, attache, briefcase, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Um, some decorating here. Yeah. Strippy here. Then you open up. I need to see. Oh, yeah. This is the right side. You open up like so. This is sort of the center. Yeah, so this was a project, big envelope. 
can uh, open it up and put lots of stuff in. And then this big belly band, where you can put lots of stuff behind. Yeah. And with flippy flappy floppies, we have flappy here and a flappy here. And then we have another secret sort of pocket here. Yep. Close up. No, you don't have to close them up because this is already finished. Let's see. Um, I'm going to open this one up first. There you go, because there are two more projects in here. Hello. <laughs> huge, right? It's huge, guys. It is absolutely enormous. This is one of the first projects I did. I'm sorry, nicking the camera. Um, yeah, you open it up like here because it flaps out even more. Yes, so this flaps open with um, lovely small envelopes that I made. Yeah, this is actually... Uh, an envelope as well that flips up so not a pocket there i'm sorry you can't see because yeah and then this is a notebook i made a notebook cool right did, did i make this into a pocket of course you did <laughs> and i made this into a pocket yeah so you can put add stuff there and this flaps here and this flaps here and then on this side we have a lovely big pocket here i had something in but you know it's a deep pocket, yeah? It's a, like, um, it has lots of room to put stuff in. So add as much as you want. Then these are also, take out the right string, love. Is this the right string? This is. Yes, more pockets here. Ta-da. We can add a lot. Yep. And all the decorating and such. And then on this one, opening it up. Yeah. If you open it up completely, guys, it will cover your whole desk. Yes. Well, I was pressing real hard on this one to uh, glue the other side down, not realizing there were these sort of boxes here. So I sort of misformed the boxes. But I tried to sort of reshape them again. Lovely boxes, yeah, that you can put stuff in. Just some um, nice, lovely and more stamping. And then uh, Gunter B, when he was young, a younger Gun Gunter B. And we open her up over here. Yes, with all the flippy flappy floppies that are also pockets. Great, and a big pocket here. Well, we have a side tuck here, so we have a pocket here. And we have a pocket here. Could do some more decorating, but I just really liked this. And more decorating here. And then, uh, well, you, you close it up again. Yes. Look at all the Gunters. Let me start with Gunter B, like the original one. Gunter B. Yes. Why is he called Gunter B? I had a poll like months ago, um, choosing two guys to be Gunter. And there was a Gunter A and a Gunter B. Well, Gunter A won the last uh, sort of journal. And this was Gunter B. And this is Gunter B, a little bit older, marrying Mary Jane. Yeah. And this is going to be now. <laughs> it's basically the same guy every time. Yeah. So, guys, that's it. That's it for this series. I'm going to sit down again. Thank you, guys, so, so much for uh, sticking around uh, with me. Because, you know, it's been a long project. <laughs> I love doing it, but mostly because you guys keep kept encouraging me with all the lovely comments. And you, lo you guys loved it so, so much. Why is there a hole here? <laughs> Did you see? I accidentally punched a hole there. Oh, fantastic. I don't know how that happened, but I punched a hole there. Probably when I did something like it. Oh, bonus, bonus. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again this Friday with something completely different. Yeah, not grungy, not oh, sort of vintagey. Um, I am joining Rachel and Bella's collaboration, which means I'm doing a Christmas project. So it's probably one of the few Christmas projects that I'm going to do this year. So I'm hoping you will join me then. Until Friday. Bye, guys. <laughs>